Hii iko acha tuseme kuanzia mwanzo pale nimeoshaona customers wanakuja sababu wanaipenda na tena inanipatia you know some profit from other from other merchandise from the shops. To the community is good. it is good for their children. It shares all the nutrients that they need. Yeah, we have tried to teach our customers on the hygienic on how to keep our milk safe on the refrigeration and so forth. We have also tried on how to, to be able to get more profit and so forth. In Kenya and in many countries in Africa, most milk is sold through informal channels. These are supply chains made up of producers, traders and vendors that sell primarily in rural areas and informal urban settlements. They are mostly unregulated, and there is often concerns over the quality of the milk they sell. But they are also the preferred and only source of affordable milk for many families. Our research is looking for ways to improve the quality and the safety of the milk sold in these informal channels creating stronger and more profitable markets that can continue to offer livelihoods to families in a safe and affordable nutritious product to children. The biggest challenge is uh, the prices of the milk from the, the distributors. They, they hike the prices each and every time. The other challenge is customers' complaints on milk going bad. Food safety is critical to the health of people and the wealth of countries everywhere in the world. The World Health Organization estimates that each year 200,000 people in Africa die of foodborne disease. The World Bank estimates that the cost of foodborne disease in Africa is around $20 billion a year, mainly because people are sick and so they can't work. Milk is such an important component of the diets of many Kenyans. Keeping it safe matters. The dairy markets are an important revenue and income source for many households who depend on the job these markets create. Informal markets help to meet the nutritional needs of many low-income families who cannot afford the packaged milk. The informal markets are an important revenue source for the government. If we neglect this sector, we create a problematic vacuum. If we can be able to strengthen uh, the capacities of those handling milk on the informal market, and uh, be able to uh, deliver quality milk, then we are going to make some uh, uh, positive strides in terms of uh, nutrition to the communities. In the More Milk Project, we have upgraded a training on milk hygiene for their vendors to include aspects of business and marketing. Through the training, vendors learn how to translate better milk quality and safety into business profits. Those profits then act as incentives to continue investing in better and safer milk. We have trained them how to manage their money. And they will be able to manage their money if they are going to keep the records, if they are going to set goals in their business, if they are going to have a plan. We have changed the way trainings are given by the teachers, moving away from old-fashioned lectures where the teacher speaks and the students listen, to more interactive and active ways of teaching and learning. So a better retention of knowledge plus incentives for change is what the project is investing in. What I can say is that uh, the training itself has a very great impact to these individuals and they're actually very excited. They're even promising and some of them have even taken taken it up upon themselves to do the tests now the way they were trained and uh, it is bringing in uh, positive results. Our to, uh, have uh, more milk, more safer milk. Our Kuja can approach to Karawana now and Kawana Kurigana Fidas Yosisagus Mekoski drop for the last few years. Ningapeda Kujua, why? Nafipi na maintain how ni improve. 
kwa hivyo baada ya kuenda nimeona wananisaidia sana sasa nafanyia through marketing the Mormir project will demonstrate how we can use win-win strategies for upgrading informal markets so that they are profitable to those who get their income through the sale of milk. They sell a safe product that consumers can trust and they deliver affordable food to low-income families. These markets will then be the pride of Kenya and Africa. <laughs>